Our guest is coming to us from Toronto, Canada. She is a mega-talented TV, film, stage, and voice actor. She has earned the title Cartoon Queen. Mm. She is also an Emmy Award-winning voice director, an author, a jazz singer, and the creative director of the Tuned In Animation Workshops, which she does all over the place. You've got to check one out. We are so excited to get buzzed with the unstoppable and amazing Stevie Valance. Yes, Stevie Valance. Yay! How oh, welcome are you? to my kitchen. <laughs> oh, you know what? I thought you were in your studio. You got an Emmy back there and a painting. I love it. I it's carry a beautiful my centerpiece. Emmy everywhere. That is, you just, do you carry it everywhere? Because I, I would. I it everywhere, you know. It gets, oh, when gosh. I first got the Emmy, I actually, they mailed me two by accident. I, I was going to cheat and put the second one out, but then you'd only ask me what it was for. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so the first job I ever got was Madeline and it won an Emmy. So I didn't have a resume. So I figured I better just take my Emmy every every job interview and I pulled it out and that was sort oh, of stuff. Oh, that's so great. So, so cool. You wear so many different hats, which I think is so cool. I think it gives you such a unique perspective as a talent, as a casting director, as a voice director. When you're casting, what really pops out for you in auditions and what works against a talent in auditions? Um, okay, well, just off the top of my head, um, I really want to hire an actor who has a strong sense of visualization. I can tell if they see it if I see it. Mm -hmm. If they don't see it, we can't see it. Uh, somebody who's not afraid to be unsafe, who's not afraid to take risks and there's a wonderful saying, is it Marianne Williamson or somebody who says, isn't it riskier not to risk? Mm -hmm. That is so true when it comes to animation acting. You have to be somebody who enjoys risking, enjoys the, um, I, I think the brilliance, you have to be brilliant in order to do this. Not good, not great, but brilliant. And I think the brilliance comes from not being afraid to risk making a mistake because that's, it's not about making the mistake. It's not being, it's being, it's about being not afraid to make the mistake and to fall on your ass because within that, me as a director will go, oh yeah, 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 let's go with that. Mm -hmm. You know, let's go with that edge. Let's go with that mistake you did and make that funny little Tourette'sy thing you did part of the character. Now, yeah. You yes. Know? And because you, you got unconscious and you weren't safe and you were willing to take a risk and be out of your body in a way, it's like mm -hmm. an out of body experience. And uh, then, then that's how we find something organic and original and brilliant. So I look for people who aren't afraid to risk, who aren't inhibited, who aren't asking me how do I do it, but they're showing me how it's done. Mm -hmm. Because the difference between on camera, I think, and, and, and animation acting is that, at least from my perspective, when I have auditioned, when I've worn the actor hat in my past, I always wanted to please the producers. What do you want? What do you want me to be? And then I'd try to be it. In fact, my agent would really screw me up when, when they would say, you know, just be yourself, yeah. you know, when the outline, you know, and it's like, what's that? I mean, I was really messed up. I mean, I didn't know how to be myself, you know, and so, so you've got to be willing to, um, you know, just take a chance, fall on your butt, um, uh, you know, ha be loose, be lucid. Be willing, you know, the producers, your, your earphones will go off and we're talking behind the glass and, and, and then, you know, we want to take it in a different direction. This is the second thing I think that I look for is being able to take direction, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, a lot of actors will rehearse it too much, you know, not a lot, but a few will, will come in and they'll have worked it out and they'll have all their choices and they'll hear it like a melody, like a song. And I just can't get them to shake it. Mm -hmm. So that's something that really ends an audition quickly. And we just kind of very politely go, thanks very much. Next, mm -hmm. you know, because we have to be able to take it over here and over here. Um, thing that just happened not too long ago. I was auditioning for, uh, I guess it was, actually it was probably about, maybe it was about two years ago because I haven't auditioned in a while. It feels like just yesterday, but it was for the part of a, a Scottish robot dog that spoke. And I'd studied my creme de la creme, Miss Jean Brodie, and I had a signature phrase that makes me do the Scottish. And I was entertaining them. And all of a sudden, 
the director came on and said to me, because I was acting then, and said, you know, can you, we just love what you did. It was so great. We just love it. And I thought, oh, I got this part. You know, I'm just, I really ace it. And they said, can you go Yiddish? You know? Oh, no. And it was like, whoa, you know, I had it all worked out. Well, I have to take a couple of seconds and go out and call somebody and my Yidd- my Jewish friends and get the lilt down in the cadence. <laughs> But, you know, you, I, I have to be able to let go and do it is the yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and if you've got an actor, and this happens again and again where they've got it so stuck, they're not listening to me, they feel a little bit threatened because I've told them they almost maybe feel, I don't know, <clears throat> I'm not their therapist, but sometimes I think they think I'm trying to trick them yeah. into mm-hmm. being foolish. Or, or screw them up or something. Or do you find that, 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 that if you give a redirection, then they, they, may say, they may think, oh, that means you didn't like what I did, when actually it's yeah. just you want to see the range and the options, and maybe you're just saying, oh, this is someone that we like, and maybe let's see what else they can yeah. do. So it's not, I mean, like you said earlier, you can't take things personally. 